Materials are the building blocks of the objects we encounter every day. From the chairs we sit on, the cups we drink from, to the shoes we wear, they're all constructed from a variety of materials. Common materials include metal, wood, glass, plastic, ceramics, fabric, and rubber. In this video series, we'll take a closer look at each material, where they come from, their general properties and their uses. In previous videos, we've taken a closer look at materials that come from natural sources like wood, metal, glass, fabric and rubber. In this video, we'll focus on a synthetic material you are definitely familiar with, plastic. Plastics are materials that originate from fossil fuels, primarily oil. This oil undergoes various processes being transformed and moulded to create the versatile material we know as plastic. Plastics have become an integral part of modern life due to their wide array of properties. They can be transparent, allowing us to see the contents inside packaging or opaque for products that need to be shielded from light. Depending on their makeup, plastics can be incredibly resistant to chemicals making them suitable for containers holding everything from household cleaners to cosmetics. Their lightweight nature makes them ideal for reducing transportation costs and they can be moulded into intricate shapes, which is why they're commonly used in everything from toy figurines to complex components in machines. Furthermore, plastics possess properties that serve as both heat and electrical insulators. Their electrical insulating capabilities are crucial in products like electrical wire casings, ensuring safety and preventing electric shocks. In terms of heat, plastics insulating properties are harnessed in items such as fry pan handles, ensuring they remain cool to the touch even when the pan is hot. However, while plastics offer many benefits, they also come with challenges. One of the biggest issues is with single-use plastics like straws and packaging. These items are used just once and then thrown away. Because plastics don't break down easily, they can remain in the environment for hundreds of years. This leads to pollution in our oceans, harm to marine life and clutter in our landscapes. As a result, there's a growing movement to reduce our reliance on single-use plastics and find more sustainable alternatives. While the versatility and widespread use of plastics have undeniably shaped the modern world, we are faced with the responsibility of balancing these benefits with their environmental impact. As consumers and innovators, it's essential that we prioritise sustainable practices, advocate for recycling and support the development of eco-friendly alternatives. Thanks for learning. Check out the other videos in this series to learn about the origin, properties and uses of some other common materials. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe.